Hello everyone. So today we are going to work on the animation blueprint of the bow. So here, if I equip the bow, it goes into the hand like this. And if I go into the aiming mode, now you can see the spring is retracted. Uh, pulled back like as it should be and if I release it I mean if I go to the not aiming mode you can see the string is released so yeah that's what I'm going to work on today also while I am in the aiming mode if I switch to another weapon you can see the string is again released and boys in the neutral state uh, when i put it back in to the back of the character and go into another weapon so right so these are the things we are going to work on today the animations of the bow and this bow episodes are specifically sponsored by this generous patron thank you very much for your support So uh, last time in the shooter project, we added this bow as a weapon by creating a child blueprint of the gun and we can equip it, go to the aiming mode as well, but still as you can see if I unprocess the character, you can see even though the character is doing the aiming or pause the bow the string is not uh, stretched as it should be so yeah that's what i'm going to work on now so in order to do that we need the bow to have animations so actually since i'm here reusing the bow that comes with the ALS system I already have this animation blueprint so let me open it and let's see if we can reuse it or if we have to create a new animation blueprint all right here we have this draw all we have to do is set in this draw value I think so let's see what happens here the current value preview value is 0 if I make it 1 you see it stretches. so that's what we have to do all right and also when it is stretched to 1 if I make it 0 quickly it retracts so uh, that's like after releasing the arrow uh, okay so now let me open the bow blueprint right here uh, what draw this is sequence evaluator right no need to understand that we can simply reuse it so here let's select the bow mesh well gun mesh here because I am extending from the BP gun uh, oh bow and MVP it's already assigned cool so then when we right click or oh, when we go into the aiming mode we need to set this draw value to 1 but uh, how do we detect right click I remember setting up this event set reticle mode so if I go to the place where I have called it it's here 
when I press double M input or when I call M down I set the reticle mode to aim it so for a gun this is like uh, making the reticle visible when we are in the aiming mode so for a gun actually we don't really have any specific animations for the gun when we are aiming but for the bow we need to have that so if I override this set radical mode because this is where uh, we have to set this draw value so in the long bow print set radical mode sorry we need to have the event So we still need to call the parent function to keep everything happens just like any other gun like showing the reticle or hiding it or anything and here let's do a switch if soft aiming no aiming we need to retract or stretch the bow if you are not aiming we need to release the bow the string so to do that we need a way to communicate to the animation low print so here in the begin play let's get an instance and here I'm not going to set up any interfaces because I don't think it's unlikely that we will have any other places that we need to have references so do any modifications within the animation blueprint so let's simply cast this to uh, for any pp and promote to for any pp okay now here let's directly set draw value set true if we are not aiming zero if we are aiming or soft aiming i'll set it to one we can smooth out things later but let's see if this works okay right is it working we have to unprocess the character and see it's not why ah sorry sorry i haven't set the value to one In the first time when we equip the weapon, we are directly going into the aiming mode, but the bow string is not stretched. But the second time it is stretched. Why? And actually, that's a bug we have. It's not uh, specific for the bow. It says it happens with other weapons as well. So that is something we need to fix in our animation, in our character site, I think. So, uh, yeah, this is this macro does the switch weapon for us. So here, at the end of switching into the weapon, 
we can get the weapon and call a dog oh no need to get a weapon we can simply call a dog with the false value so that would solve our problem see and if we want to shoot I need to right click okay but the problem is let's say we are in the middle of a fight right oh did you notice the issue if I switch the weapon while I am in the aiming mode let me press one now see the bow is still stretched so we need to fix that also uh, what I was talking about previously is if I am already aiming with the weapon and if I switch to another weapon I should still remain in the aiming mode otherwise it would be a problem uh, as it interferes with the fight so Mm -hmm. here let me promote this to a variable hey me do we already have something like that no go then uh, in the aim down here I can set Aiming to true or oh, here set aiming to false. Then when we switch the weapon, if I am aiming, I can enable or disable it based on the previous value I have. So right now let me switch to the go so as you can see it's not aiming let me switch to the driver it's not aiming now let me go to the aiming mode and let me switch to the bow now we are back in the aiming mode and the string is also stretched cool the other problem now we need to address is this if i switch we should uh when we put back the bow we need to set the draw value this one back to zero so how do we do that for that i think we can use this toggle gun yeah mm. Yes, they went toggle gun. Toggle gun. Add call to parent function. We still need what happens in the parent function to happen here as well. And then uh, Set radical mode to not damage if this is false. Right now, switch to the bow go to the aiming mode and switch to the rifle now you see the string is released okay all right so that part is complete and the next part we want to work on is uh, how to add an arrow here
so at the moment I don't have any arrows so but I'm not going to work on that in this episode let's look into that in the next episode and thanks for watching as always project files will be available for the download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club see you in another episode goodbye